Hello everyone. Wish you all a very good day and welcome back to your cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. And to start with, you have your course objectives which you need to go through again for a formal procedure. And uh, today we are going to start with our uh, third part of cosmetics biological aspects of our unit number 2. And before starting, we need to go through the ground rules for the class and all the ground rules remain same once again and uh, the additional thing what i would like to bring to your notice is in case if you are watching this video in youtube channel so please uh, like the video and uh, subscribe and try to click on the bell button right so i hope uh, you all do this without forgetting so well to start with the objectives and clear structure of the lecture for today today i am going to cover only one particular objective that is under part 3 of this unit that is structure of hair and hair growth cycle we shall start uh, looking into the structure of hair so i have to start explaining with the picture because this picture represents the anatomy of the hair along with the different parts along with the skin and different layers of the skin so you can have a quick look at the various parts which are uh, importantly to be considered for this discussion so you can start observing from the interior level so the deepermost region you can observe the veins which are connected to the hair or hair follicle and then you can look at the next part that is sweat gland and then you have the artery which is connecting to the hair follicle and then you can have the hair shaft which is elevated outside the uh, skin and at the other side you have the magnified picture of the same which is Uh, representing the illustration about the hair bulb which is at the bottom and into which the arteries and veins are connected and then you see how the oil glands are connected with the hair follicle and then uh, you can see the entire region of the hair follicle in the second second side picture that is the one which is towards the right hand side i have another picture which is illustrating the various parts in detail again you start observing from the bottom at the bottom you have a part called hair papilla that is present inside the hair bulb and then the hair follicle and then you see how a sebaceous gland is connected and then you have erector pil muscle and you can see the hair shaft is projecting outside the epidermis of the skin layer well now let me uh, explain you about the structure of hair and uh, hair growth cycle so to understand the hair growth cycle we need to basically understand the structure of hair so normally what we used to do is we used to compare so many things while explaining their structure as hair like structure so those uh, material are those things which are thin and uh, lengthy in structure longitudinal structure so we always uh, uh, compare them by saying hair like structure and now it's time for us to understand the structure of hair itself okay the hair is a simple in structure but has important functions in social functioning so as usual uh, which is uh, playing a major role in maintaining your personality or your beauty or your physical appearance and hair is made up of a tough protein and the name of the protein is called as keratin a hair follicle anchors each hair into skin 
hair follicle is the one which is anchoring each hair into the skin anchoring means which is holding which is uh, providing room for a hair and then the hair bulb forms the base of the hair follicle in the hair bulb living cells divide and grow to build the hair shaft i hope you understand the different parts right we have just now seen in the pictures so you have to recall them while reading this illustration well the blood vessels nourish the cells in the hair bulb as what we have observed in the picture and deliver hormones that modify the hair growth and structure of the hair at different times of life and now we shall uh, have a look at uh, hair growth the hair grows at different rates in different people the average rate is around half to 1 inch per month hair color is created by pigment cells producing melanin in the hair fall hair follicle along with aging these pigment cells die and the hair turns gray thereby one may have a tendency to get gray hair now we shall look into the hair growth cycle the hair growth occurs in cycle con consisting of three major phases the first phase is anagen phase second phase is catagen phase third phase is telogen phase and some descriptions may give you uh, four different uh, phases like anagen catagen telogen and fourth one as exogen right and that exogen phase is nothing but again returning back to anagen phase a phase which is returning back to anagen phase so you can represent any of the descriptions either into three phases of hair growth cycle or into four different phases of hair growth cycle so both uh, means the same right okay fine now the first one that is anagen phase which is also called as growth phase and this is the phase at which the hair grows to maximum most of the hair is governing at any given time each hair spent several years in this phase even this duration is given as different ranges of years in different descriptions it all depends upon the person to person and various factors influencing the hair growth right and then the second phase is catagen phase and this phase is is also called as transitional phase and this exists over a few weeks and the hair grows slowly and the hair follicle shrinks and then the third phase that is resting phase and this will be over for months and over months hair growth stops and the old hair detaches from the hair follicle a new hair begins to grow at this phase pushing the old hair out that means shedding the old hair out right so these are the three different major phases of hair growth cycle right so we shall have a look at this diagram right how the cyclic procedure is followed initially it will start with anagen phase followed by the catagen phase and then it is followed by telogen phase and some other descriptions may give you fourth phase that is exogen phase and that is nothing but a phase returning to returning back to anagen phase so well the three stages of hair growth in a cycle from actively beginning growth from the root to hair shedding is represented in this illustrative diagram so well, now you can have a look at this picture right first phase is anagen phase as i told you it is active growth phase and it is normally ranging between 10 to sorry 3 to 10 years or 3 to 6 years or 3 to 7 years many descriptions give many values here but they all depends upon uh, 
their uh, study results or uh, person to person and they may also depend on the various factors of the person factors which influence the stage or the phase well the second phase is catagen phase and which is also called as transition phase it exists between 2 to 3 weeks and the third phase is telogen phase which is also called as resting phase and it it will last for 3 to 4 months and the fourth one as i told you uh, it, it is a phase which is returning to anagen stage anagen phase which is also sometimes in some descriptions they have named it as exogen phase right so in this hair matrix will start forming new hair and this may happen in some cases or this may not happen in some cases and this phase will be leading back to anagen phase well now let me explain you stage uh, stage by stage and uh, uh, the description of each phase first the anagen phase the anagen phase is the period of growth the cells in the hair bulb divide rapidly creating new hair growth what is happening here in this the first stage that is anagen phase the anagen phase is a period of growth and the cells in the hair bulb divide rapidly creating new hair growth and the hair actually grows from the roots of an average of 2 to 7 years before hair follicles become dormant in this time hair can grow anywhere between 18 to 30 inches the length of this phase is dependent on your maximum hair length which varies between people to people or which varies due to genetics due to age factors or uh, due to health and due to many more other factors well now the second phase that is the catagen phase the second phase of your hair growth cycle is catagen phase and this period is short and it will last only 2 to 3 weeks on average in this transitional phase hair stops growing and detaches itself from the blood supply and it is then named a club hair so what is happening here it will be uh, stop growing and detach from the blood supply that means there will not be any blood supply to the hair and is then it is named as club hair and next phase is third phase and third phase is followed by second phase and this third phase is the telogen phase finally the hair enters its third final stage called the telogen phase and this phase begins with a resting period where the club hairs what we have discussed in the previous phase the club hairs rest in the root while new hair begins to grow beneath the club hair and this phase will last around 3 months after this time the resting club hairs will fall out or shed out to allow the new hair to come through the hair follicle and this is nothing to be alarmed about and is a natural process that should go completely unnoticed each follicle is dependent on and goes through the growth cycle at different times so you don't lose patches of hair all at once only shed between 50 to 100 hairs each day meanwhile the other 80 to 90% of your hair will be in the anagen phase growing long and growing strong for op- optimum hair growth hair needs to stay in the anagen phase for a long period as possible and this can be supported by a healthy diet and healthy lifestyle and by using products that care for your hair and avoiding unnecessary damage that may contribute to your hair growth cycle being
disturbed next uh, we have uh, a snapshot illustration you can have a look at the complete cycle and uh, what are all the different uh, changes occurring in each cycle you can go through this illustration and uh, you can have an understanding about the complete hair cycle at a glance with this particular illustration well now i have a short video for you to understand the hair growth cycle so this video explains you about uh, the different phases of your hair growth along with various factors influencing the hair growth so please have a look at this video you can see that the hair skin and blood vessels form quite a complex structure this is called the hair follicle For some who may not know, hair has its own natural cycle. It grows from the dermal papilla, which is the oval stem cells, it passes through three phases and it dies. Once this hair dies, another starts growing. The first phase, called the anagen phase, is actually the growing phase of the hair. While it starts growing, it pushes the old hair out. The phase continues for up to six years. After this, the growth of the hair slows down and changes from late anagen to the catagen phase. This catagen phase is the involuting, regressing, or dying phase. It lasts up to six weeks. Growth stops and the hair follicle detaches from the dermal papilla stem cells and falls. This process cuts the hair off from its blood supply and from the cells that produce new hair. After the second phase, the hair follicle enters the telogen phase, which is a resting phase of the hair follicle, lasting around six months. When the body is subjected to extreme stress, as much as 70% of hair can prematurely enter the telogen phase and begin to fall causing a noticeable loss of hair, or being no longer attached, it can appear dull. The hair cycle is controlled in every step by signals from the scalp and from the body. Some signals, the blue ones, tell the dermal papilla cells to start producing hair and grow. These signals are the growth factors, which last up to the anagen phase, telling the hair to grow. On the other hand, some other signals, the black ones, tell the hair to die and fall out. These signals tell the hair to enter the catagen phase and it dies. This process may continue in exactly the same way for some people during their entire life. The cycle of the hair passes a six year anagen phase before entering for a few months in the catagen and telogen phase where the hair falls out. There is a possibility though for others, while going through life changes, the cycle shortens and the hair becomes thinner. Under these circumstances, the hair goes through all three phases as normal, but the anagen phase becomes shorter each time. As a result, the hair starts growing slower and not as long. This process is called miniaturization where each cycle gets weaker, shorter, and less colored until the hair can barely be seen. Although the hair follicle is not dead, it can hardly produce any hair as time passes. The big question here is, how do we maintain anagen? The only way to stop the process of miniaturization is to figure out how much time the hair spends in the anagen phase. If we succeed this, the hair will grow in a natural, healthy way by staying longer in this growing phase of the cycle. Prolongation of the anagen phase is increased by PRP, platelet-rich plasma, as this has growth factors which are more concentrated than ordinary plasma. PRP not only stimulate dormant hair follicles and stem cells, but encourages collagen production, which is responsible for thickening of the hair. 
It has been shown that if PRP is used during a transplant procedure, better results of hair growth are seen in a shorter period of time. The blue particles represent the growth factors which are increased five to six fold in the PRP. It is these increased growth factors which are responsible for the thickened, healthy hair growth in both men and women without any side effects. For of uh, the hair growth cycle from the video. Now, uh, let me explain you something about uh, hair loss. The hair loss, hair thinning, and problems with hair growth may occur when your hair growth cycle is disturbed. Hair growth can be triggered by various conditions such as metabolic imbalances, illness or improper nutrition. For instance, six weeks after restrictive dieting or a high fever, you may experience telogen effluvium and this stage that is telogen effluvium is also called as sudden diffuse hair fall. This will result in sudden diffuse hair fall. First, when your anagen phase is cut short and many hairs enter the telogen phase at the same time. If your hair growth cycle is constantly challenged or not supported with good nutrition, you may find that your hair will not grow as long as it used to happen before. And this is because your hairs are never allowed to stay in the anagen phase for long enough to reach the desired length. So with these illustrations as well as brief discussions, we come to the end of uh, this video's objective, right? So now let me move on to the summary. So let me remind you, we have completed part 1, part 2 and part 3 with this video. In part 1, we have discussed skin, structure of skin, structure of skin relating problems like dry skin, acne, pigmentation, prickly heat, wrinkled skin and body order under part 2 and under this part 3 we have completed structure of hair and hair growth cycle. The remaining objectives will be discussed in my further videos. So once again let me remind you if you are watching in YouTube please do remember to like it and share and probably try to click on the bell button right and even subscribe so that you can come to know in case if I upload any new videos. Well, these are the few references for uh, this video's discussion. And now let me end with a high note, with a quotation. The quotation is, life is short, you might as well leave it with really great hair. And uh, this quotation is given by an unknown person right so life is short so better you try to have great hair and healthy hair and beautiful hair so with this i conclude this video session thank you thank you very much have a good time